go and then just a bit higher and then yeah we will say that um show it and then we will install i am sharing here my first try at making holes on china made ceramic cups and mugs thanks to our surprise guest host jer for showing us how to safely insert a 3 8 inch diamond plus drill bit the main tool i will be using for this project's completion thanks again for the helping hand gel you are watching another episode and welcome to our channel I didn't have a cordless drill which was specifically recommended, so I opted to use the one available and making sure I operate it carefully and responsibly. First step, I placed a used towel over our work table. I show to our viewers again that I am using a Diamond Plus drill bit. It is different from the regular drill bit for woodworks. The end of this drill bit is hollow, specifically used to make holes in ceramics and related stuff. And no, this is not a sponsored post. I asked an expert on the project for today and this was specifically recommended for us. I received an assurance it will complete the task in flying colors and very productive as well. The drill set I am using is powered by electricity instead of one that is cordless and battery operated. So I really made sure that no untoward incident will interfere in our undertaking up until the completion of our task. I chose to present this video in full, unabridged and also unedited. In short, it will be presenting the real length of time as filmed and it will cover the whole experience as well. I am using old mugs which fortunately were just stored and stored away for safekeeping. I scratched the bottom as marker for the drill for pivot. I also made a provision for a standby and ready cup of water. After marking the bottom, I poured a small amount of water and off we go for the first drill of a ceramic mug of our life. It would seem that it was hard to aim for the mark and hold the diamond drill tip steady. I have to add more force and push to keep it on the mark. And yet, it keeps on drifting away far from the center. This task needs more experience. I have to hold the drill on a tilted and slanting position so that the side of the drill tip touching the bottom will make the first scratch and dent. Holding the drill on that position guarantees that the hole will be made and will not damage the mag. Once I felt there was a breakthrough, I started changing the position from tilted to directly pointing the tool straight down, still making sure that I am pressing on it with steady hands. Notice at first how I handled the tool which made my hand shake and wobble at first. Let's look at the hole that I made on the old mug. I wiped clean the powder and bits of ceramics discard with a piece of paper or towel so I can check if the hole is good enough. Not a perfect round hole though. Still, it was good enough as a finished job done. Now that I have bored a hole on my first china, the next one will be easy. That was what I thought so. Well, the first experience was not enough. I will have to bore more china to gain enough experience, but at least I have not broken any mug yet, and that made me feel good. Starting this boring task is quite tricky, but once I gain traction of the tip, making the drill steady in holding it away from drifting and swerving off target, the drilling becomes easy and quick. For the record, it took me short a time to do the job as compared to the first. What I need more is the practice at making the holes rather than right on the center and not on the side. That may take some time, perhaps. If you have come this far watching this video, thank you for the patience and time spent. I really appreciate that. According to statistics, people watching YouTube videos have a very short and limited span of attention, 
Unless this channel is like that of Sargon of Akkad or Lauren Southern or Tim Pool or Black Pigeon Speaks among all others, I am a fan of. And now, just to insert a short introduction here, I also support these small channels of Red Monkey Talks, short quirky tales of Victory and Juniper Sketches, small channels in our maker's circle. On my channel, visitors watch at an average of 3 and 54 seconds only. So that extending this video beyond the time is like aiming for the moon. As I know, overwhelming majority will not get to this part of the video. And that is the main purpose why I overextended this post. Some visitors do not go beyond one minute and off they go to another video that interests them. Do you know that even if this channel is over a thousand subscribers, to be approximate, now beyond 1,400 already, it still get a misreview from them? That is debunking finally the false pretense that small creators will help each other survive and grow. I was right after all. On my first school of thought, that creator subscriber come primarily and mostly wants to seek a following and after that off they go and may never come back. From January 1st, 2018 up until April 30, 2018 or to be exact, the first four months of this year, our channel had a total of 480,657 watch time minutes with a channel average and actual watch time view of 3 minutes and 54 seconds coming from 122,755 instance of visits. Well, that made me feel so good. But looking deeper, from the 4 months we are talking about, my subscribers watch time minutes came up to 2,846 only or an average of 2 minutes and 14 seconds from an actual 1,270 visits. The actual heroes of my channel are those watch minutes of 477,810 that average 3 minutes and 55 seconds from views of 110 to 1,485 instances. They came from YouTubers who are non-subscribers and simple consumers or watchers of videos only, day in and day out. So what am I really saying here? The subscribers, particularly creator subscribers, do not really help a channel if they just subscribe and do not watch videos. And if they do, they spare a small amount of watch minutes, just enough to write their very short comment, hoping that I too would come and visit their channel. But when I do return a visit, I make a full view of their entire video, including the ads, as my full support. And when their video is so short and I am not yet done writing my comment, I do always replay their video up until I have keyed in my comment. A situation that is really lopsided, not equitable, and not fair. I also visit other channels posts on my own volition, usually full watch two videos at a time and make better than average comments. But hey, not too many make a return or courtesy visit. That is why, now and starting today, each time I visit a creator channel that do not make a return visit, I will always make it noted that it will be my last ever visit of the channel. This is the sad fact many struggling creators have to overcome and make a turnaround. The real answer to this and the best solution is by creating better posts on a regular basis and attracting subscribers that are like-minded and will be there to deliver the dedicated actual support in terms of watch time, comments, shares, and likes. Until then, we are in a tough situation and rough sailing always. If you have gone this far and full watch this video, my heart is in full appreciation and for that, if you are a creator, I will forever be indebted for the watch time you spared and I will reciprocate it in more ways than one. I am also posting a short version of this video containing only the discussion on subscriber view much later. So, can you name at least one of my favorite content creators and the channels on our makers circle? Thanks for watching and have a good day now.